Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Shane here from Rockabout Sound and in this tutorial we're going to be recreating the main bass from Omar Varela's track, Scario. And this is what it sounds like. So really, really nice sound here, exactly the same as the original track. So if you guys like this sound, stop the video, click that like button. If you're new here, drop that subscribe button because we got weekly tutorials coming out all the time. You got nothing to lose. Slap that subscribe button. I know you want to do it. What do you say we go ahead and jump into the sound? So we're going to start by initializing the patch. Now, really, really simple s sound here. Um, we're just running basic shapes on one oscillator frequency modulation and then um, a pulse width modulated waveform. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Oscillator A, basic shapes, as I previously said. We're going to move this to a square waveform. Now, um, from here, we just get... You know, it's just our basic square wave. And this is when we're going to start our frequency modulation. Now, the frequency modulation, believe it or not, you probably you guys are already catching on to this, but it's really the part that really shapes the sound and creates that really screechy um, high pitch effect here. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to turn on our FM and turn it up to about, let's say 40 something, 45, something around here. And now we turn on oscillator B, and we're going to turn it up three octaves. Now we are also going to turn up seven semitones. So you're starting to imagine the harmonics from the sound are already starting to come in. And we're going to hear that even better once we turn down the level from oscillator B. We no longer need the level because all the sound is being outputted through oscillator A, um, because oscillator A is the host for the frequency modulation, and it's intercepting the signal from oscillator B here. Now anyways, we're gonna start off with our modulation. We're going to uh, just kind of create whatever shape that we want. I think my boy Omar did a little something like this in the original track. Just a little, a little something something like that. And we're going to put it onto the frequency modulation from B. And you know, we could just make it go down. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's um, sounding like ass, complete ass. So yeah, we just kind of mess around with it. And that's what we're going to use as our starting point. Um, all right, we're gonna drop the level for oscillator A because we are actually going to modulate that because you know how I said it sounded like complete garbage ass? Um, now it's not going to, it's gonna sound great. You guys, it's not great, but you know, we're getting there. Um, maybe tune that up a little. Now anyways, into oscillator B, we're going to go into our analogs and select our pulse width modulated MG. There we go. Now, um, as you can hear, if we just solo this, we're, it's just a pulse width, width modulated waveform. So um, basically, once we're at this this 68 position right here, that's really the part in the waveform where all the frequencies are the most present, as you can hear. Nah, right there, that's where we want it. Um, so yeah, we can, I'm gonna turn this level down um, because that's, I was just doing that for the demonstration, but now we're going to turn on sync. And now the sync is just going to repeat this waveform within this window here. And as you can see, as we begin to turn it up, um, there we have our first copy come in at about the 2.0 mark. And then once we turn it up to 3.0, that's about 3.0 right there, just about. Um, so around the halfway mark, um, we have all three of our cycles in. And what that does is we're actually playing it just about one octave higher. <laughs> So um, as you can hear, that's really adding a huge screech element to the sound, um, it, once again without it. Really huge effect. It's actually turning it up about two octaves, I mean, my bad, I actually screwed that up a little bit right there. But into, anyways, into the filter, we're going to turn on our high pass, and we're really going to shape the sound into like a talking sound, kind of. that. Omar is putting on into the original track here. Now we're just going to modulate the cutoff, uh, make it go up about 
36 points from about 78 hertz, which is going to take us like 2000 hertz, 2400, something around there, 2300. Now, as we turn up the resonance, you can hear just a little bit of like a little vowel. It sounds like, yeah. Listen very closely. Let me put this trigger. The lower that we put the cutoff, the more closed the sound sounds. So we're going to leave that around 50 hertz, somewhere around there. Um, really, guys, it's up to you. The sound isn't just to recreate the bass. I want you guys to take the sound and put your own spin on it. So it's all up to you guys, whatever you want to do here. Um, anyway, since the effects, we're going to turn on our hyper. Uh, you know, hyper is just going to go down to about 14 and then dimension, low size, high mix. You guys know the deal for hyper and dimension, not too complex of an effect here. Um, anyways, chorus. Now the chorus is really what's going to give us a thicker sound almost. Um, first things first, we're going to turn the mix all the way up and we're just, so that way we can uh, have a clear view of editing the chorus because see what I mean? We, how are we supposed to tell how big of an effect or how great of an effect the chorus are, is actually doing and what specific rates and such uh, that need to be fixed if we're having it at like 18% or whatever. So when we put it up all the way, okay, the low pass filter obviously cutting out all the low end or all the high end. So we're going to turn up the low pass filter. And believe it or not, that'll actually do. We're just going to turn on this mix to about 20%. And you guys can hear there is an extra, um, an extra element of the sound once it's played. It's very slight, but Getter actually uses this trick a lot. If you listen to his bass pretty closely, he actually does it with a delay. And the chorus is basically very similar to a delay, like a simple delay effect. But anyways, now it's time for the part that really, really shapes the sound and develops it into the final sound that we hear. Uh, we're going to go into the compressor and turn on multiband. And we're going to gain this. All right, so um, the compressor multiband is just trying to even out all the frequencies. Um, it's, we could actually watch it. Each of these individual bands is noticing um, which, like if it notices that the high end of the particular sound is lacking, then it'll boost the high end. For an example, as you can hear, there's not a lot in that higher envelope. We turn up the compressor right there. Um, EQ, now this part turns the sound a lot more vowel-like. We're just going to put on these both, um, these little, the middle slope, which is just a peak slope. And essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to modulate these two frequencies to go inwards um, to form a vowel sound. You know, if you guys have been with me for the past tutorials, you know, I do this a lot. So I'm going to turn this frequency down. And, you know, this part, again, just comes down to your own intuition, whatever you want. Um, okay, so into the voicing, um, I'm just going to turn on mono legato and then turn up the portamento here. Um, so I could get a little effect like this. And here we can even mess around with the FM again. Get different effects. And that's all it comes down to in this tutorial. If you guys like that sound, you already know what to do. Click that like button and click that subscribe button as well. Omar, very nice sound here. Very nice job with the overall track. So big up to you, buddy. Um, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.